Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we'll be learning about how to mark data and how to interact with the data of your interest. So basically, what is marking data? In typical swap fire, when you mark data, you basically highlight that data and it affects your data. So today we'll be learning about what is marking data, the different ways of marking data, and also how we can invert, filter, filter out, delete, unmark your data. So let's get right to it. Let's go to our typical swap fire. Over here, let's go to our page number one. Over here, I have a scatter plot. The easiest way to learn how to mark your data is from a scatter plot. So here are the basic steps. When you're selecting a data, it highlights and all the other uh, things are left unhighlighted. And if you want to select another data, if you do it without control, it deselects the other data. So when you select control and then click on another data, that data is selected along with the other data as well. You can draw a rectangle to select your data. You can click on the data to select your data. And by selecting Alt, you can also draw a free shape to select your data. If you want to select one part this way and you want to select another part by rectangle, just click on Control and then select it. And maybe if you want to make a free form somewhere around here, you might want to click on Alt and Control both and then make your data. This way you can select three pieces of data from different places. Another thing that you have to learn is basically about the different types of data. Over here, we have a bar chart, a line chart, and a heat map. So when you're marking different types of data, there are different things. In scatter plots, there are markers. In bar charts, there are bars. In line charts, there are lines and heat maps contain lines or demographs. So it's according to your requirement, of course, the way things are marked. So let's learn some things. What if I want to find out these different types of uh, these unique count rates for these facility types and age and genders? So what I do is maybe work on these and go to the markers and invert them to see the rows that are not uh, these high and their level. Another thing that we can do is select these rows and if we want to concentrate on these rows, what we can do is mark these and filter to the data. So these data are filtered. So as you can see, they're not deleted. They're still there, the 180 rows, but 89 out of the 180 rows are filtered. Let me press Control Z to go back to where I was. Another thing that you can do, as I showed you before, is to go and filter out, which basically shows us the level data. And of course, it affects the other data as well. So if you click somewhere else on a place that's empty, it deselects the data. And when you click on it, it selects it. So the easiest way to deselect your data is by clicking on a place where there's nothing. Another thing that you can do is go to your macros and click unmark if you don't want to mark them. There is an option where you can delete your data from the macros as well by clicking on delete. This will delete macros. However, I do not want to do that. So I'll just cancel that. So basically, why mark data? Maybe. What I want to do is work with this certain type of data and the other data is irrelevant to me. That's why we might want to mark our data. So there's a lot of things that you can do. You can mark your data, you can go to file and there are options over here for our macros where you can unmark and uh, use the options as in the settings from the edit options above as well. So there's a lot of things you can do with your markers. You can uh, basically use separate uh, columns for your markers, add bookmarks, and make them tags as well. 
that's of course something for you to toggle around with and see according to your requirements but this is basically how to mark your data demark it filter them invert them delete them etc one last important thing that you need to know about marking data is how it affects the colors so over here i've marked the data it did not affect the color what i might want to do is i might might want to go to the settings go to the appearance and use separate color for marked item. Now what happens is that when I select a something, it becomes colored different. The same thing I can do for other things. I can uh, use separate color from marked items. So like if this is marked, this is marked as well. The same for this as well. Go to appearance, use separate color, close. So if I select this, as you can see, this was selected. Currently, it's already blue, so it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, but if I want to select this, it selects this whole data and selects different parts of this data. So that's basically how you mark your data, work around your markings and uh, different types of data using Alt Control for deselecting, selecting, and making preform shapes of marking your data and unmarking, inverting, filtering to and out, and deleting your data. Is very easy thing to do in Spotify desktop. So I hope you've understood the lesson and I hope to see you in the next lesson as well.